Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements Remove People video, I'll be showing you a great little trick to use to make it much easier to use the clone stamp to remove people from a background like we have right back in there. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share. You can support my channel through Patreon. And also make sure you subscribe. I do a bunch of videos every single week. How to's on Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and Minecraft and some other stuff on occasion. Okay, let's get to it. Let me first show you the problem here when you're using Photoshop Elements to remove people from a background. And then I'll show you a great little trick which makes this much, much easier. Say I wanted to remove these people back here or even right back in there. And I wanted to use the clone stamp tool, real standard tool for this. I'd zoom in on that to be able to get a good view of what it was I was doing, like, you know, removing the people right over here. Easy to do when I'm zoomed in this far, but I can't really see how this looks on the whole picture. I have to go back and forth to figure this out. Go back here to fit on screen, take a look at it, come back in. I was at 400%. I'll just type in 400% and then move that back over to that spot again. So you can see the problem here. I'm going back and forth between different views. Now there's a real easy trick to make this much, much easier. What you want to do is to go up to the Window menu, come down to Images, and then down here it says New Window. Click on that and you get a second window. What this is is a second view of the same image. Now go up to Window, come down to Images again, and click on Float All Windows. So now both two floating windows like that, and then Window, Images, and come down to Tile at the very top, and it puts these side by side. So now, I can take my zoom control over here on the right hand side, I can zoom this out until I see the whole picture. There it is, there's the whole picture. On the left hand side, I can now, again using my zoom tool, I can zoom in on the part that I want to fix right there. So I can see how it's working on the whole picture, plus I can have my nice zoomed in view right over here. Now if you have any problem with having these floating windows like that, just make sure that floating windows is available in your program. Go up here to edit, come down to preferences and general, and then right here it says allow floating documents in expert mode. Make sure that is checked. And you might as well go ahead and make sure that Enable Floating Document Window Docking is also checked as well. So make sure that both of those are checked, and then this trick will work. Okay, let's go ahead now and see how this works. I'll just move over here holding the spacebar down. And let's just take out some of these people over here on this left-hand side using the standard clone stamp tool. I'm going to back out just a little bit in a bit too close on that. That's pretty good right there. Okay, go to the clone stamp tool. And with this tool, your size is down here, there's your opacity. I like to always use a soft edge brush on this. So grab a soft edge brush, then adjust your size. That's a pretty good size for this. You don't want to go too large unless you want to do a real soft even fill someplace. Now with this, when you're doing this kind of background removal, it's best if you can clone from the right side and go directly to the left, or from the left side and go directly to the right. That way it keeps the perspective accurate on the ground. Notice up here the ground is real flat. Down here it has a lot of texture to it. There's a perspective happening in there on the ground. So to save that, make sure you're cloning as much as possible left and right. You can you know, go a little bit like this or a little bit like that is usually okay. But try to be left and right pretty much. Now to use the clone stamp tool, hold the Alt key down. It gives you that cross here and then click at that point. Let go and you can then clone from there over to the left. Now whenever you see that cross here, that's what I'm doing. I'm holding down the Alt key and I'm clicking and then I'm moving over here. It's a matter of doing that multiple times until you have the clone stamp repair fixed. So let's just do a bit more here. There we go again. That was an Alt click on that. Hold the space bar down. Gives you the hand. You can then move your image around. Now notice over here on the right hand side, those people are now gone and it's easy to see how that looks on the whole picture. Let's now get rid of this stuff in here. There we are. And again, notice how it's also going away on the left-hand side. Now it kind of updates just a little bit behind your work on the zoomed in window. That's okay. Just let go and it will then update over there. 
and it allows you to easily see what it is you're doing on your zoomed in view but also it allows you to see the effect on the overall picture like in here it looks pretty good over here I can see kind of a white outline around that so we'll fix that later let's just get our clone stamping done in here first and then we'll go back and fix that little bit which is pretty easy to fix actually and for that we'd want to be zoomed out a bit further so you want different zoom levels when you're doing this but you still want to be able to see exactly what's going on in the picture and that's what we have here with this nice little trick of having two windows open at the same time it makes it much much easier for this kind of clone stamping work also notice how fast I can go on this since I can always glance over there to the right hand side and see how that looks I don't have to be going back and forth to see if I'm doing okay so again it makes it much much easier just a little bit of stuff right in here just about actually done with this part of it it's going that quickly and we'll get these last couple of people over here then we'll clean up that bit on the ground and then we'll get that that stuff that's right down there right against her shoulder and finish it off right there the nice thing about this is because it's so far in the background I can be a little bit looser in here on my clone stamping and it looks just fine I wouldn't know that unless I had this large view to pay attention to okay let's go ahead now and do this little bit now for this kind of a thing you want to really get in close and you want to make a selection and then do our clone stamp inside of that selection so I'll grab my standard polygonal lasso tool I have the feathering set at 1 and I'm going to come in just inside her shoulder here just like one pixel inside that way the feathering should then overlap into the image that should work out very well and I'll take this clear up around the top up here you can hold the space bar down and we'll get those people as well and finish off this whole side then we'll go back and we'll clean up that little bit on the sand where the coloration is just a little bit off that's actually a pretty easy fast fix okay up and around space bar right there and I'm staying out quite a ways so I want to have some room to work with and then come back down to your starting point there it is let's now clone stamp inside of that area go back up to the clone stamp tool there we are and then again alt key and grab something to copy over and just bring that in that's fixed and spacebar and I'll just grab some of this edge right there where the grass is going up against the sand and do that there we are let's go ahead and then deselect that looks real nice back here a little problem right there to fix so I'll just use the zoom tool zoom out just a bit on that not all the way and again the space bar here to move this over and now I can see that pretty easily here when I'm zoomed out just a bit further okay let's go ahead and fix that looks like it's easiest just to take some stuff over here and put it over that side so I'll go back to the clone stamp tool I want to use a much larger brush for this let's bring our brush size up that's pretty good bring the opacity down to about half and then I'll grab some stuff in here and then just bring that right over that section just like that and there we go looks good over here and that's that nice little trick by having these two windows open it makes it so much easier to work on this kind of repair because I can easily see my detail view and see how it affects the whole picture over here on the right hand side I'm going to show you that one more time I'll close that window down so for a second window open up your first picture go up to window come to images come down to new window right there there's your second window I want them both open floating and then go up to images and then tile and it puts them side by side just like that you can then zoom in on one and have the other one full size doesn't matter which side they're on works either way so there you go that's how to make it much easier to remove people from a background using the clone stamp tool by having two windows open at the same time 
Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and the share. That really helps out my channel. So click on those every single time you watch one of my videos. Don't forget, you can support my channel through Patreon. Also, don't forget to subscribe as well. There's a link for that, of course, right there on the bottom right-hand corner of the video. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and you'll find a link for that down there in the description. Thank you.